Splatoon 3 got updated again, fixing a lot of bugs and abilities that were in the patch prior to this update. And in today's video, we're going to be covering every single major patch that's been in the update. This includes the main sub and special weapons, as well as the points for special gauge charge up. So without further ado, this is the comparison patch between Splatoon 3's patch note of 2.1.0. Hairspray MG and RG got an increase of 10% in their turfing ability, meaning that their turfing power when ink is falling onto the ground is more efficient and spread more diverse. Jet Squatcher's RNG when firing on the ground got reduced by 17%, meaning that when you're standing on the ground, it will be more accurate for his shots. Splashout Nova got an increase of 19% in turf coverage. Considering how this weapon is a support weapon, it makes sense to give it more turfing ability to control zone. Dynamo Ruler got a very interesting buff. When attacking opponents from a further distance, the damage that is inflicted will be stronger than before. This is most likely to compensate for the sake of main saver that once was in Splatoon 2, but now Splatoon 3 doesn't have it, so it's kind of crap because it doesn't have it. Big Swig got a buff of 5 points towards horizontal damage flick, meaning that it now does 35 damage and that it can consistently 3 shot opponents at a further distance. Bamboozler 14 Mark 1 got an ink consumption reduction by 17%. It is now able to fire 14 shots compared to its previous 12 shots, which makes sense because it's Bamboozler. 14. Nautilus 47 got buffed surprisingly. It is now capable of firing for 15% longer than what it did in the previous patch, which I don't know why I need this kind of buff. It's something that the Nautilus is already alright with, but I hope all Nautilus means will appreciate the buff. Slosh Machine, on the other hand, got a very hard hitting nerf on its main weapon, consuming ink by 10% more than what it did in the previous patch, which is not good for the main weapon. The fact that the Slosh Machine can't really turf as good as other weapons is already a bad thing, so the fact that it consumes 10% more ink is not the greatest nerf I've seen. Even though I hate this weapon, this is still a bad nerf. Angle Shooter's coverage when striking the ground or opponents has been roughly doubled, as well as now doing 35 points of damage to the previous 30 points that it had before. Ninja Squid got nerfed. Yes, Nintendo, let's talk about this. No longer will you be completely invisible when you were in the ink initially after transforming into squid form. You'll need to wait about half a second before it will go away completely. As well as the, wait, what? Wait, swim speed up at the same time. Wait, am I? Am I reading this alright? Using Swords Beta at the same time will no longer result in one of these abilities being cancelled. So that's a buff. Why must you do this Nintendo? I hate this ability. Get out of the game. Ban it. Kick into the ether. I don't give a damn. Just get out of here. It's cool. Moving on, Tactical Glory got buffed so that when Respawn Punisher and Haunt are equipped by a player, it will no longer affect the abilities of Quick Respawn and Special Saver by the Tactical user. Reset got buffed so that its end lag after the massive explosion now has intangibility against any weapon, sub, special, you name it. It's a decent buff and I think it's okay. Uh... Tribbling Strike got a 10% radius increase and a damage increase by 50%, now dealing a whopping 412 and half, if you're at the epicenter of it. And finally for the specials, Crab Tank has been nerfed, so it now only lasts 8 seconds, but you can easily use Special Increase to make it up to 11 seconds still. Yeah. Good job, Nintendo. Good job. Some weapon special gauge points requirement have been changed slightly, so I'll briefly talk about that now. Splash Shot, Hero Shot, Replica, 52 Gal, Next X Gal, Splash Shot Pro, Splash Shot Nova, and Splat Doys have all had a point special gauge requirement decreased by 10 points. However, Custom Splash Shot Junior, Slosh Machine, and Splatana Wiper have all had a special gauge increased by 10 points. Slosh Machine has now gotten two nerfs that hit it in all the wrong places for a weapon that needs to be nerfed. It does not need to have a worse special gauge charge up point value and it definitely does not need its main weapon to be worse at consuming ink. If you're interested in the patch notes yourself or want to look at the stuff I didn't cover in this video, then the link below in the description will take you straight to the official page where the notes will be there to look at yourself. Special thanks to Dev Knight for helping me collect some parts of the footage for this video as well. For those familiar with my channel, you've probably recognised him before as being a friend of mine, but if you don't know who he is, he also does Splatoon content and you can go check him out in the link below and show him some support because he really is a good guy. With that being said, the patch notes were pretty decent, I think. I don't know much about the patch notes, I'm not much of a professional player, but from what I've heard other people say it is kind of mid, some good, some bad, some horrible, horrible changes. But overall I think it's okay, I'm not going to give my verdict in the ring. With that being said, thanks for watching today's video and I will see you all in the next video.